Hello, beautiful, lovely people. How are you? <sighs> I know. This is not my Mandela video. What the hell? It's almost done. I think I'll probably finish up the audio tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Um, I would finish it today, but Katie's coming to visit, so I'm going to be doing that today. Because it's such a rare thing to hang out with another truther. Yay! So yeah, I'm taking the day off. Um, it's been a maddening project. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have taken on one of those videos where you're like, yeah, this won't take long. I think I initially said a week, which has now turned into over a month. I mean, I did lose like nine days to the flu, but it was way more work than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Uh, and some maddening work as well. I mean, I did throw my glasses and my headphones the other night. Earbuds do not fly well. <laughs> For anyone that's wondering. So, yeah, I just wanted to... Um, hmm. I might live stream when Katie's here. I've never live streamed on my channel before, so I don't know if anyone would even show up, but I might do it. We'll see. I don't know. Um, what I want to talk about, though, is... I've noticed... There's so few videos, new videos. It's like no one is making videos. Like every... Right now I have this set schedule where like I work on my video and then I stop at night and I give myself like 90 minutes, two hours to catch up on videos. And I'm like... just dying to find something to watch because there's nothing I'm going through my subscriptions no one's got new videos and I'm like what the f what's going on and I'm talking to Yolanda and she's seeing the same thing I mean there are a few people who are putting out videos it's not like no one but there is an absolute massive massive decline and it's concerning me greatly Everyone is talking about this YouTube purge, which I'm not going to discuss. I've already said my piece on that. Um, and this is not about that. These are people who are still here. And I don't know if people are scared to talk about stuff. People are scared to post videos because they're scared their channel is going to get deleted. Or I don't know what's going on. Which is why I want to talk about it. Granted, I haven't been making as many videos, but you guys know why. And this is a project, which is on the screen right behind me, which is why I keep pointing that way, because it's right there. <laughs> so big. My life's work, my legacy. I'm just wondering what's going on with everybody else. What is happening right now? Did everyone take a holiday and not tell me? It's a crucial time. I think they're about to drop some major fuckery on us. They're building up to this bullshit disclosure, you know, which I've long said that, you know, um, I think Bluebeam is a possibility, but who knows? You know, I don't know if that's what this whole thing is leading into, but I'd hate for us to all lose our communication in the middle of that. And I don't know if it's just that we need a new platform and that's what this is 
directing us towards and this is just not a safe place anymore or what but that's what I'm trying to figure out concerns me because here's one thing that and I, I don't know if it's an epiphany epiphany may be too big of a word but when I was um, uh, texting with Yolanda this morning um, kind of came to a realization about something um, and it's about settling for things and what I realized is that when we when we want something in life when we um, When we settle, when we decide that, um, well, okay, well, yeah, I, I don't have to have that. You're, okay, I can, I can settle for it to be not perfect. I can settle for this. I can settle for that. It doesn't have to be that great. We give permission for it to not be perfect and we don't have to do that we can actually have it exactly the way we want it it's the permissions that we put out there that really fuck us up and if we stop giving permissions for the things we don't want and only leave the path open for exactly what we do want those are the things that will come into our life if I want this piece of land this perfect piece of land and I just hold that in my thoughts and keep that in my vision and don't make these allowances in my head of like okay well it doesn't have to be in the forest or it doesn't have to have um, running water or it doesn't have to have this then that's what I'm gonna get that's exactly what I'm gonna get but if I only hold on to the exact perfect thing that I want that is what I will get I don't have to give permission for imperfections in my life none of us do and I've given a lot of permissions for settling so many times but there are also many times I did not and a really good example of that is my husband <clears throat> Even though when um, we got together, I had zero interest in a relationship, um, I had made a list when me and my ex-husband split up um, of all the things that I wanted in a, a partner. And I said, I will not accept less than this. And I put it in an envelope and I set it aside. and. Because I had done that with my previous marriage, but I settled and I made the um, allowances that, well, okay, he's not these things, but, and I did that and I allowed all of the I allowed all of the negative things that came with that into my life I gave permission for that so I wasn't gonna let that happen again and what was on that list um, Johnny checked every one of those boxes except for one because he was not a reader but because I wasn't going to settle I refused to settle again so I didn't same with my house.
It was the same situation. So today I finally got it through my head that in every area of our lives, no matter what it is, we do not have to settle for anything. We can say, this is how I want my life to be. These are the things that I want. This is how I want it to be. This is what I want to bring in, and I will accept nothing less than that. I have too much hair. That is an issue for me. <laughs> I shaved half my hair off. I still have too much hair. It is too much. Oh. I can't shave anymore, though. <laughs> I mean, it seems really simple, but we all settle so much. We settle all the time. I've settled so many times in my life, and we don't have to. And the thing is, is that we've been programmed so much to think that we have to settle, that asking for the perfect thing Expecting perfection in our lives is selfish. And it's not. That's how it should be. That's what we deserve. Every one of you deserve to have the perfect life. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have joy every single day. Struggle should not be a part of this experience. They tell us it is but it's a lie. It's part of the programming here. It's not how it should be. And part of our deprogramming should be that we do deserve perfection. We deserve joy. And we can ask for those things, and we can make them happen. Like the perfect cup of tea. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Not really an epiphany, but realization. Finally got it through my head, tied it all up, put a bow on it share it with you and you know just wanted to share my concerns about the lack of, of videos from everyone yeah worries me yeah that's pretty much um That's all I have to say for right now because Katie's gonna be here soon and um, I'll either maybe live stream or at least make a video while she's here something 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 and then hopefully in the next few days you guys will get to see my very uh, extensive and somewhat long Mandela video and I hope you enjoy it I love you guys so much, and I hope that you are having a perfect day, and if you are not, make it so. I love you. I love you so very much. I do. I love you.